Seven and zero. Oh. Our next fight coming your way, Super Bantamweights. There he is at a Denver, Colorado, father of two, Richard Morales, being led by Cunado in the red Golden Boy shirt. Everybody on staff getting a shout out tonight if you get on the screen. And Javier Padilla is his opponent. Oh, there's a loud ovation. Somebody there sold some tickets. Somebody sold over 300 tickets. And there he is, Javier Padilla. Indio, California, 21 years old. His manager with the smooth jacket, Joel <laughs> Diaz. His trainer, hand on him, is Donio Diaz. Joel the trainer, the Joel the manager, Donio the trainer. And there you see Javier Padilla. Padilla, over 300 tickets sold. That Tejana he's wearing, that hat, it actually belongs to his grandfather, Juan Padilla. He said he wanted to do something to honor the family. Asked his grandfather, can I wear it? He's never worn a Tejana before. He said his grandfather told him, sure, put it on. The rest of the family members said, wait a minute, Grandpa never takes his Tejana off. Well, you make your pro debut, you get Grandpa's favorite. Special occasion, gotta represent. 21 years old, Indio, California. Making his pro debut. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for four rounds of boxing in the Super Bantamweight Division. Cuatro rounds de combate en la División de Peso Super Gallo, presented by Oscar de la Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Cerveza Tecate Born Bold. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Alejandro Rochin, Fernando Villarreal, and Zachary Young. And your third man inside the ring, el tercero en la superficie, Rudy Barragan. Introducing to you first the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing silver and green. Official weight, 115 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina Tecate Azul, vistiendo calzoncillo de color plata con verde, con un peso de 115 libras. Representando, hailing out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Richard Morales. And his opponent across the ring, standing in the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim. Official weight, 120 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo calzoncillo color blanco con rojo, con un peso de 120 libras. And tonight, making his pro debut, haciendo su debut profesional, the hometown boy from Indio, California, USA, Javier. Padilla! And here to give out the final instructions, Rudy Barragan. Seconds. You both already received your instructions, okay? Just remember to protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, come off fighting at the bell. Good luck to you both. Tail of the tape between Padilla and Morales. Padilla, at age 21, is seven years younger. He is six inches taller. Richard Morales, not a big guy at five foot two. And Padilla has a significant reach advantage. It's going to get it loud in here as Javier Padilla has no nickname. Over 300 tickets sold. Friends and family asked him, do you know everybody? He's like, no. But friends of friends, they all want to come out here. And you said in the Coachella Valley, boxing is big. They support each other. He's just excited to get going, make his pro debut. He's in the white trunks. Richard Morales, Denver, Colorado, North Denver. 28 years old. Started boxing as a kid. Played football and basketball, track in high school. Just got back into the program, and he's getting tagged early on by Padilla. Uppercut, Padilla. He's just letting his hands go in his pro debut. Body shot against Morales, who's in his own corner. And that's going to get ruled a slip. Finally, Morales got out of that corner. And he caught a break right there. Yep. Morales with his size and the weight disadvantage as well. He only weighed in at 115. That's technically a junior bantamweight. So he's in against a tall, rangy, large bantamweight who weighed in at 120. He needs to be quicker, and he needs to get inside to do anything. Has the nickname Slick on his trunks. He needs to be slick against the 21-year-old Padilla. Long arms, uppercut landed by Padilla. 
Started boxing at the age of 12 at the Indio Boys and Girls Club. Body work from Padilla. Morales needs to stay. He needs to smother as much as he can. He does not want to be on the outside against this tall, rangy, amateur standout. Morales had a lot of amateur fights, but even after high school, just got away from boxing, burnt out. Javier Padilla, the fighter from Coachella, Indio, California, went to Coachella High, also played soccer. Started boxing at the age of 12. His dad said, hey, you want to go to the gym? It's right next to the soccer field. Yeah. They went in there, sparred. He had no idea what sparring was. because He said, I got my butt kicked. The next day, I called my dad and said, let's go back to the gym. I want revenge. <laughs> He's never left the hey, gym Revenge since. is a good motivator. <laughs> Joel D oh, that, that body shot uh, worked. I think there was a he was clash there? of heads. Uh, Joel Diaz, I, I asked him to describe Padilla, and he basically says more of a freight train that takes a while to get started, although it's a very quick start today, I think based on the opponent. Taking a look at Morales' record, guys, he made his pro debut in 2012 and didn't fight again until 2016. So I guess you could say he's on that Olympic schedule. But uh, this much is clear, Padilla would win every jump ball against him. Big size disadvantage. Padilla's winning every punch right now. Yeah. He's throwing every punch, doing whatever he wants, loading up. Morales, a scrappy guy, that he knew what he was getting himself into. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Did he really? Hey, I listen. Said, I said, he kudos, said it. kudos to him. He got out of the opening round. Now, a couple seconds to go in that opening round. And he did get out of it. All right. Soccer. And then at 12 years old, uh, we were playing at a soccer park right next to the boxing club. And he told me, oh, I was done soccer practice. He's all like, let's go inside. And I was like, all right. And he put me to spar, and I got my ass kicked. And ever since then, I've always wanted revenge. And well, I kept getting my ass kicked every day, every day, until I started doing the opposite and kicking everybody else's. But I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this for a long time already. It took a while, but finally doing it, and I'm going to show everybody what I can do. Well, I watched Oscar Little Hood since I was little, and for him to, for me to be fighting under his card is an awesome feeling. And there you see Javier Padilla with his trainer, Tonio Diaz. Mention Oscar DeLoya. How about this one, Steve? I know you're going to love it. His favorite fighter, Chico Corrales. Oh, the late, great Chico Corrales. Got that tall, rangy build. I don't know if he has the power that Corrales was gifted with, but he does seem like one of these tall guys who's, who's comfortable with his yeah. opponent in his grill. He was actually used as a sparring partner for Diego DeLoya a lot of the times. Uh, that Joel Diaz is using him. So that's some great work right there. Absolutely. He got hit. He, he hurt his arm. Maybe he, he threw his arm out of the something. socket or something. But He took a knee, so he's going to be counted as a knockdown. Yep. But he's something happened to his shoulder. Continue? And if he can't continue, it'll be, it'll be a technical knockout. Moving that shoulder around. Yeah, he threw something off. Then he's going to continue. A lot of heart being shown by Morales. Padilla drops him and it is over. Oh no, wait. I thought Rudy waved it off. No. It should be over. I don't know if he's gonna get up from this. This is a body shot. That one hurt. He stands up, gets the eight count. And Rudy by the ground, veteran referee, is really gonna keep an eye on him here. Looking over at the corner, second round. Body shot again. More body work from the 20 year old from Coachella. Uppercut. And that's just a lot. And Rudy jumps in and it is over. Javier Padilla. In his professional debut, that's a second round stoppage in front of his friends, family, and grandfather. And had Barragan not stepped in when he did, the corner of Richard Morales was ready to throw in the towel. We watched some highlights of this stoppage. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, so he throws a, a, it was like a right hook or a right cross. Injured himself, really wasn't able to protect himself with or without the arm yeah. in, in injury. It was really just a matter of time. Too big, too skilled, and simply too hard a puncher. Well, we'll see what Padilla really has. I think tonight was a little bit of a layup. I don't think they're going to match him up with King Kong or Godzilla in his professional debut. But I've mentioned this numerous times, Beto. 
for Joel Diaz as a manager and trainer. There is life after Tim Bradley. He has a cadre of prospects that he is sky high on. He has a good stable in Coachella Valley right now, does Joel Diaz. And a lot of credit to Padilla, makes his pro debut. That, you know what, you're supposed to do this. Yeah, sure. You come in and destroy and get after it. A lot of heart being shown by Richard Morales, father of two from Denver. Came in there, showed some tenacity, but it was too little too late as Javier Padilla gets a second round stoppage as our ring announcer, Pablo, is ready to go. Time of one minute and 16 seconds in round number two. Tenemos el tiempo de un minuto 16 segundos en el segundo round. Declaring your winner by the way of knockout. Su ganador por la vía del knockout. The Indio California USA. Javier El Javi Padilla. There you see, where the Tejana owned by his grandfather, what that Tejana is now Javier one and oh. Sabia. And his stablemate Luis Correa is going to come it up next. See the inside work of Padilla. And he's a finisher. When he gets his man hurt, he knows exactly what to do. He attacks the body, attacks the head, punches in combination, puts his shots together, keeps the pressure on his opponent, basically leaves the referee no choice but to halt the proceedings. And Doug, you mentioned this, like a Diego Corrales, there are certain tall, lean fighters. They're not really comfortable on the outside in space. They are much better off being chest to chest. And it looked to me early on, Padilla has that ability to make his punches very short and compact in tight spaces. Dawi Munoz coming in, Cunado leading his way.